the international superstar American who gave who gave so much uh, to the French public when he won the Melbourne Cup. Uh, could you resume his destiny, uh, his destiny, and uh, as a racehorse, but now as a, as a stallions because he travelled a lot. He did. He originally started his stud career in Calumet Farm, uh, where he has his first yearlings now in 2015. So he'll have approximately 52 year olds to run for him next year. He's just returned from Swettenham Stud in Australia, where he covered over 130 mares. So he's extremely popular, and we're very delighted to have him here at the Irish National Stud. We have a lot of speed influences in our stallion, so he balances out the roster, having won from seven up to 16 furlongs himself, culminating in the 150th Melbourne Cup. Alors voilà, donc Américain, un cheval qui a beaucoup apporté à la France, il a offert sa première Melbourne Cup en 2010 à la France. Il a commencé sa carrière des talons à Calumet Farm aux états unis et là il revient tout juste de Sweetenham Stud Australia. Et donc il arrive ici en, en Irlande, en fait c'est un bon, une bonne balance, un bon équilibre. Ici il y a beaucoup de chevaux de vitesse et lui était un cheval plutôt de, de, de tenue, hein, ce qu'il a prouvé sur les 3200 mètres de la, de la Melbourne Cup. Alors pourquoi fait-il la monte ici en Irlande Pourquoi son propriétaire a choisi Why did the owner choose to, uh, to send a horse in Ireland for this year He wants to make him an international sire, so he'll have representatives in America, he'll have representatives in Australia, and now he will have horses in training in three years' time. So that's he's starting here in Ireland now as well. So he's the highest earning son of his sire, Dinah Former. He's a lovely pedigree, fantastic race record, and he's a beautiful individual, as you just saw. So he wants to make him available to the Irish public and English and French also, whoever would like to send their mares here to him in Ireland. Alors, son propriétaire américain, comme le nom du cheval, qui est un milliardaire américain, veut faire de son étalon un étalon international. C'est pour ça qu'il le fait voyager et qu'il a amené le cheval en Irlande et qu'il va continuer à le supporter et envoyer même ses futurs produits à l'entraînement chez Dermot Weld, ici en Irlande. Voici pour le, voici pour le destin international d'Américains.